After a week of protests in Gastonia, a local business owner is calling for the community to come together. The protest started after a woman claimed she was treated poorly at Tony's ice cream while wearing a Black Lives Matter pin. And now the owner of another ice cream shop less than two miles away has found herself involved and wants to share her message of unity. Amanda Foster is live for us today. Amanda, what are things looking like in Gastonia right now? Yeah, right now here at Tony's Ice Cream, they are still closed today, but people have been leaving these notes of support on the windows and over here on the front door. But down the street, there's another ice cream shop where the owner has found herself pulled into this situation. That's at Excite Sweet Connections. The owner says protesters sought her business out when they learned it is black owned. They began one evening this week getting ice cream there before heading down here to Tony's to protest. It sparked rumors that she and her family are a part of these protests or even that they started them. All rumors she says are not true. She tells me she did not ask to be involved, but now that she is, she says she has spoken with both protesters and the peoples at Tony's ice cream here to learn their perspectives and she's encouraging everyone involved to take a step back and have a productive conversation. Let's talk about it. People talk, they've been talking this whole time, but who's actually listening? Who's actually listening for understanding? Who's actually listening to say, okay, so how can I take this and make something out of it and make it better? Because if we go down this route and keep going down this route, we are all going to fail. It's not gonna, just going to be Tony's that fails. It's not going to be just Excite that's failed. Gastonia is going to fail if we don't come together and fix this now. Well, over at Excites, she already had a community unity planned event tonight at 7 o'clock over there at the lot next to her ice cream shop. She says she hopes that anybody who is coming out to that tonight, again, at 7 o'clock, will engage in that conversation and kind of start this productive conversation that she is talking about. For now, live in Gastonia, Amanda Foster, WBTV, on your side.